Hey gang, welcome back. As I've said about this channel before, I'm going to do a variety of things. And I've covered a lot of different topics already over quite a few videos. Everything from lawnmower stuff to pictures that I've taken and who knows what else. And I'm going to continue on that trend. Uh, I want to share different things and could try to give you some insight as to some of the things I'm using. And you may find it useful, I don't know. But I'm planning a trip next week. And on that trip, I want to take my Canon 80D camera that I bought last year. I love that camera. I love taking pictures with it. But transporting it has been kind of a hassle. So I've been putting it in a little backpack that I have. And that just gets kind of scary because that's an expensive camera. And I don't want to take the chance on it getting damaged or losing it. So recently, I ordered this. And I'll unwrap this and show you. But... This is a dedicated sling bag for your cameras. And this is from a company called Low Pro. And this is through Amazon, and I will try to post a link so that you can look at this if you like. And this is a Slingshot Edge 250AW. And I'll show you more about that in a minute. But I want to take a look at this and show you why I like this particular bag, at least from what I've seen so far. So let's open it up and have a look. As you can see, it's a black bag. It has a shoulder strap. Also has a waist strap so that when you have this on, just as a little more security, you can connect this strap and it kind of gives you, you know, a double wrap, let's say. This is actually the back of the bag, and it has these little dedicated straps. Now, these can be taken off. Right now, they've got little plastic tabs holding it on to the cutout here, but these can be used for a tripod or whatever else you may want to strap onto the back. Could be an umbrella that sort of thing. It even has a little picture here that shows it as a tripod holder. It has some padding in between to help support that. And that's really all there is on the back. Now, it does have this pouch, which runs all the way to the bottom of the bag. And it's the, it's the full width here. But the odd part is, is it's a narrower opening. And this is probably about four and a half, maybe five inches. Inside of here, it's got a little hook that you can hook your keys on or whatever you want to hook. And it has a separate pouch here, like if you want to put your cell phone. And then a separate pocket as well for like a pen or something else. You could put a notebook. You could put a, put a variety of things in here. And like I said, it is pretty deep. And I'll show you more of that in just a minute. As far as on the strap itself, it does have a little tab here, you know, if you wanted to have something hooked on. Um, of course, it is length adjustable, which is nice. But, let's see here, it's got this, I should go back to the other side. This upper compartment. Now, this isn't very deep, but it's not meant to be because the lower section is for your camera. So it has a pouch up here, and that pouch it runs down to about this far into the pocket. So you're looking, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 inches or so for that pocket. Inside, it has another zipper pouch. And this one is more, I don't know, uh, like a mesh material. So you can actually put thicker things in there and it'll conform to the shape and hold on to it. It does have a little, ta a little corner piece up here that also protects any of your equipment from the zipper scratching it as long as you have it up in that corner. Hopefully you can see that. Other than that, that's really all there is in this section. This, this, uh, also the padding is pretty thick. This is about half an inch, I would say. I can squeeze that and get about a half inch. And there's padding all along the sides and the bottom piece is padded as well. Now what I really like about this 
is this pocket. Now, if you can envision this on your back, this is, you know, the top up here, and then this bottom portion. Well, this bottom portion has this zipper pocket. And you open that up, and it has compartments for your camera. And all of this is padded as well. Nice, thick material. And uh, you can adjust these. I wouldn't, you couldn't put a great big telephoto type lens, at least not on the camera. And I'm going to put some stuff in here to see, show you how it's going to work for me. But what's, now I'm, I may try to show you another uh, segment where I actually have this on, but with this on your body, you can unzip the flap, open it, reach in, and just get your camera and start taking pictures. So I think that that's probably the coolest part, in my opinion. Uh, on the bottom here, there is another zipper, and inside is your rain fly, or rain pouch. So you stretch that out over, and that will protect you, or protect your bag uh, in case it rains. And it also has a tether, so it hangs on to the uh, rain fly. Again, that zipper is concealed. So when you're wearing this, it won't poke you in the back. And also, the shoulder harness unclips, so you can take it off easier. It does have a hook up here on top. I've seen where if you have a tripod, it uh, may have a hook on the bottom of the center post. And you can hang this on that tripod, if it's a small, lightweight tripod, and it'll help give it some weight and stability. So just something else to look at. And then it has this nice rubberized uh, carry handle up on top. So I like it. Um, I'm gonna put some stuff in it and see how it works for my configuration. I did forget to point out that on the side here where the secondary strap is, rather than just leave that hanging, there's actually a pocket right here. So you can tuck that in if you don't want to use it, and get it out of your way. And of course, we're all conscious about having water bottles, so here's a side pocket for a water bottle. You could also take one of the straps off the back, lace it through this strap point. If you wanted to put your tripod in that pocket, and then put that secondary strap around it. Okay, one of the things I want to show you is this back pocket, as I was mentioning before. I have a little tablet with a keyboard on it. This is just a generic RCA brand, nothing, nothing fancy. And this is six and a half inches by about ten and a half inches. It'll fit down in this lower section, but the hard part, if you wanted to put it all the way in the back, is the width of this opening, as I said before. But I did find that if I angle it, I can actually make it get fit in there. And, whoops, turn it this way. So it'll go, but probably not the best way to fit that in there. Especially if you want to get it out quick, you know, you might fight with it. And uh, it's just not as much fun doing it that way. So for, for my purposes, this little tablet, it'll fit right here. And that's a padded area and protected, and so that's an easy, easy placement for that. As far as the camera, There's room for this lens, which is a Canon 55-250 lens, fit on the side. My Canon 80D with an 18-135 to lens on it. I can put that right there. And of course I do have the neck strap on it, and I like to leave that on there because I'd rather be, have something to hang on to 
than to have nothing. So I also have my secondary battery on my charger. So that can easily slip in here on the side. My charge cord, which this is for um, a cigarette lighter style. That can fit in here as well. And then I've got this remote for doing um, time pictures or delay pictures or that sort of thing. Um, so this is really handy. And again, this can fit in here all the way in the back. So get everything in there. And I can just zip this up. And that camera is nice and padded and secure. I can also put, in this case, some reading glasses. I can put them back here in the back, put them in this pouch, you know, different things like that. And again, like I said, there's a place for a pen or notepad and uh, keys and different things. So, pretty convenient. And let me hook it up and I'll show you the other way that I, or the reason I like it for my use. So here it is, strapped on. Now, I don't have the secondary strap connected. You know, that would be this one. You can adjust this up and down, you know, if you want it higher or lower. But it's tucked away. So this little clip, like I said, I can push it up and get it out of my way. It's got a sliding track. And um, I don't need it at this point. Fits pretty comfortable. Feels good on the back. And like I said, if I want to get to my camera, there it is. I can reach in, pull it out, start taking pictures. So again, pretty convenient. So that'll be the end for this particular video. I thank you for watching. And if you're at all interested in this bag, I will post a link to it in the description and maybe you can check it out and see if you're interested. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the design and I'm gonna, like I said, take this trip. So I wanted a bag that I could feel more confident with on my back and also feel confident that my camera was more protected than with the other bags that I was using. So again, thank you for watching. If you'd be so kind, leave a thumbs up on there, leave a comment, share all those cool things and we'll see you next time. If you would, please leave a comment, like, share, comment. This might do what you need it to do, I don't know, but at least you can see. So that'll... out of it.